most uh, suggested and uh, I don't know, viewed content on my channel. But that being said, and also I'm a big fan of it, but with that being said, I thought I would show you guys the new, 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 new Star Wars Squadrons game. Game, 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 game. Uh, this game came out, uh, I think, last week, and I just recently picked it up. It's interesting. Uh, if you didn't know, obviously Star Wars Battlefront 2 is probably the well, one of my favorite Star Wars games of all time. Obviously, other than the original Star Wars Battlefront games, I actually really enjoyed it and had a lot of fun playing that game. This is Star Wars' newest project, Star Wars Squadrons, which just basically takes the uh, flight and fighter aspect of Battlefront 2 and made it a complete game on its own.
first person uh, fight, uh, tie fighter, or even if you're you know playing a race car game and you have to play first person, I know somebody's not a fan of that, a fan of that, but um, yeah, this is what this game is. There's no third person. You can't go into third person. If the game's completely first person while fighting. So uh, it is interesting, but I wish there was a sort of option to play third person as well. But the game, as far as I know, is completely first person. So um, all of the starfighters have their own like um, um, unique cabins. So each inside of every uh, fighter is different, which I think is kind of cool. Every everything is looks looks different on their own. Um, so um, I would go and show all the guys, but that's gonna take like a very long time. So, uh, like I said, I was planning on doing some gameplay for you guys. I think I will just jump into some story mode. So, if you're not a big fan of, I guess, this story mode games, you just want to see online multiplayer again. If this video gets, you know, like 50 likes, I'll play maybe some online multiplayer. But as of right now, I will just be doing some of the um, regular campaign. I'm restarting from the beginning, so um, hopefully you guys enjoy a little bit. some sort of trading smuggling post. Um, you can see my hands there, that's kind of cool. Yeah, trading post, yeah. It seems like we're looking for some Alderaan refugees. So, if you don't know from the movies, again, spoiler alerts, but they destroy the planet Alderaan with the uh, Death Star. Now, apparently there are people that we're still looking for from Alderaan. Just, I guess, looking for those people. So this particular part, particular part, particular part in the video game is right after the destruction of Alderaan. So, episode four. Uh, but you will see later on, it, it gets a little bit different. But basically, you just fly around a little bit, nothing too exciting. But then you have to start scanning these, uh, I guess, uh, ships and uh, crates and stuff. systems L trigger L trigger L trigger you learn how to uh, lock on to different things which is kind of nice 
this is all mine. You can see right there at the bottom left hand corner in the top of the suit of my HUD, the TIE Fighter sort of uh, cooldown system. So obviously there's no ammo, it's a laser. So you sort of just have to wait for your, your laser to charge up and uh, over time it will decrease. So that's pretty cool. So now we're back in the trading post and the, uh, <laughs> the guy who runs it is not very happy that the uh, Empire is stupid around his place. So he activates his, uh, his little turrets. Ouch, I smacked him with something right there. Uh, you're going to see a lot throughout this game of me smacking into stuff on action because you have to realize your starship isn't just, you know, the little ball. It's not just what you see, it's the entire, you know, TIE fighter wings and stuff. So I sometimes forget about that, that I'm flying and not just on a little, you know, small ball. I have this whole entire fighter I have to maneuver around. So the aspect of that of the game is pretty dope. It's sort of like, uh, I don't feel like you're actually flying. It's pretty cool. And I also love the sound the TIE fighter guns make. It's you know, very, at least to me, it's satisfying. Maybe not the most best. Best. It's probably not the best for ASMR aspect, but I actually think the sound is very satisfying. The little pew, 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 pew sound is very nostalgic to me, and I enjoy it a lot. There's also different ways to sort of program your ship. So left on the D-pad, if you press that, you activate your sort of engines, and your engines are boosted, which makes you faster, but it makes your shield weaker and your guns weaker. You can press up on the D-pad, which makes your guns more powerful, but it makes you slower and shield weaker. Or you can do right on the D-pad, where you're in, it activates your shields, and your shields are stronger, but it makes your guns and speed uh, are weaker. Or you can press down on the D-pad, where it just evens everything out, so everything is equal. All your guns, your sh uh, shields, and um, your blasters are all equal. So, um, it's pretty cool. But yeah, we got some uh, X-Wing fighters trying to stop us from uh, looking for the, uh, oh gosh, exploded that guy on accident, yikes. Uh, they're looking for, we're looking for, you know, the Alderaan people, and it looks like the TIE fire, uh, the X-Wing fighters know that we're here, we're trying to find them, so. scum our captain wow that's that's pretty crazy that a captain in the empire is now turning against the empire that's pretty crazy now i just have to sort of mash a bunch of buttons to sort of jump start my fighter you can see my guy there <laughs> say some words uh don't worry about the name the name is a pre-autoed name they give you some options that i just scrolled through and i picked one so uh See the different powered engines. You'll gain flight and speed ability and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And now we are chasing down our uh, our big boss guy. It's pretty intense.
screens have missiles or they just didn't show me while using the TIE Fighter yet about missiles, but I do have missiles now, which is kind of cool. Jumping to a light speed into the area, it seems like. Wabam, and we are here. Yeah, right behind the, uh, looks like the, the fleets of the Empire. And it seemed like the captain of the Empire, uh, sort of sent out a transmission to ask for help on the Rebellion. So we're here to accompany him, it looks like, try to save him. Also get to learn that you get a boost, boost, boost in the game by clicking the left, left, left stick in. And wow, we are going kind of fast. Definitely do not want to get by any of these blasters by these big ships. Definitely would not feel good. Oh, yikes. Oh, they're shooting right behind me. Nice little bird. ships got exploded. 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 <laughs> oh, we might be fighting the Star Destroyer, guys. Destroying the darkness. 
guys enjoyed this little gameplay. There's a little cutscene here, but I'm going to be talking over it a little bit because I think it actually has some Star Wars music in it, so I definitely do not want this video to get copyrighted at all, so uh, my apologies if I sort of... Oh yeah, you can see the four-year later gap. Um, it talks about sort of like the end of the Empire and sort of how the Empire is now uh, not doing so hot, but they still have people around trying to stop the rebellion, so we are still around trying to get rid of the rest of the Empire, so it's pretty cool. You can see your little cutscene of Luke destroying the, uh, the, the Death Star, I'm assuming, dropping his little bombs. That's pretty cool. Oh, Palpy. Palpatine, 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 Palpatine. Or maybe there's not music. I don't hear any music. But yeah, as you saw, it's a bigger gap. Now it's the end of episode 6. It's now the timeline of this, the rest of the campaign. So before, that was like episode 4. Now we are past episode 6. In between episode 6 and episode 7. Which is pretty cool, but in my opinion, I'm definitely more excited about playing as the Empire than the Rebellion. There's not a lot of games where you play as the bad guys, and I'm very excited about that, and I hope you guys are too. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, social part, and I'll do another video on it. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much. Uh, make sure, you know, you're taking care of yourself. And I'll see you again in my next video very, very,